just over on two play. Leon again. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a massive hit. Oh, my goodness. And Leon has drilled this so hard. Straight down that channel between Botolo and Takahashi. And you wouldn't want to be a passer out there right now. Fourth ace of the game. Off pace. Easy pass for Gotardo. Block does its job for the moment. And they're going to get a replay as well. Anderson with a really cute angle. And unfortunately for Padova, that just means Leon gets to have another go. And from what looked like a mini comeback from Padova, the lights have gone out again here in the Palabaton. And the man who's flicked the switch is yet again Wilfredo Leon. Well, finally, the serve goes long, but Padova have not been able to side it out. So still will be feeling no rhythm right now. And that puts extra weight on the young shoulders of Mattia Botolo. Just trying to get that feeling of that elasticity in the arm for the fast swing. A decent serve, but it's a lovely pass from Kalachi, and it's an easy, thrashing kill from the American Matt Anderson. And Perugia away and clear now. Surely, surely now a matter of time. So the familiar change up. Plotnitsky comes in. Expect when his service run is over, expect to see him on for the backcourt. Three passes in that rotation, then off. And the captain, Leon, will come back on. In fact, Leon's still on the court. Go! Oh, great swing. That's a huge hit from Linus Weber, and I promise you, the other opposite on the other side of the net, Rich Licky, didn't know much about this. Was the classic defensive movement of close your eyes and shut your mouth. Nearly works as well. Now, Crusato. In fact, Canella, my apologies. Canella on in the middle and has been on from the start. And that's a decent play from Batolo. But that's a horrible angle for Takahashi to find. Still in play. Gianelli looks again. Oh, great set on the reverse, but just a little low for Rishliki to get a swing on it. And at last, Takahashi puts it away. So Padova with a mini revival here. So my apologies to Canella. So that means Crisato, Canella. And Volpato have all been on through the middle. This is the man I was expecting to start the game, but didn't. And that's the end of Canella's byplay, and it might be the end of uh, his match, actually, because there's enough good servers out there, and the block strong enough in front court right now. It's a decent block for Perugia with Gianelli serving. It might be that they can finish it on these next three rotations, Perugia. Good pass from Gotardo. Weber off the block, but dug by Rishliki this time in control. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Well, Matt Anderson has found it. He's really found his angle. And this is classic Anderson. I mean, this is the shot he's hit for so many years at the top level. Four points away then from closing down the last of the... Del Monte Coppa Italia quarterfinals here in Perugia. The home team flying. Lovely shot. Vitelli, full force off the Zimmerman feed. Middles with so much control in this league. Just saw that the block was showing on the power, cut it back across. 
Zimmerman to serve. Good serve. And same angle for Rishlicki. Just a little deeper into court than Anderson. And Zimmerman says, well, surely that was out. And they're going to have a look at this. Well, I may just to peg the line. I think it's the reaction of Gotardo that probably tells you all you need to know. But we're going to have to wait for a check. And either way, even if you lose this challenge, it's, it's a nice way to slow the match up at a key phase in the game. Padova are going to get one more chance. <laughs> well, there's in, and there's in. And we all know what that was. Well, the service pain continues. Anderson next for Perugia. Pain that is for Padova. Fortunately, though, not made to suffer on that occasion. Takashi more than capable of a couple of quick aces. Leon controls it fast and flat outside it's just how he likes the ball as soon as he passed that ball he was moving to the net and he didn't stop moving and Gianelli just had to fire the ball into his path another familiar mix uh, of players on as we change up again so Plotnitsky comes off Travica comes in for service duties and every time he's come on to court he's made a difference for a couple of points as the veteran Perugia setter being made to wait this time though and the block devil fans in full voice behind Dragan Travica and for the first time in this match not able to make an impression. And relative to the scoreboard, that does not matter, although Marco Vitelli was the man with the service run. Back-to-back -back aces that put Padova back in the mix temporarily in the mid part of this set. Not a good serve. Well, the relaxed pass. Leon drills it off the head of the blockers and that's terrific work from Takahashi good timing from there but Leon goes again and goes into the block for the first time in quite a while lovely out of system hit from Takahashi just to put a bit of pressure on them and there's uh, an angle that doesn't exist from Leon straight into the middle of the net Canella does get back on the court then he's back in the middle as he's Middle blocker Vitelli serves, his fellow middle blocker, another good serve. Wow. Classic Sole. I love watching him hit. Held world titles, I think, as uh, an Argentinian youth and junior player and was training with the national squad. So he's been around a while as Sebastian Sole. Nice kill. Rishlicki then with the responsibility at match point. Doesn't happen, but three swings for the game is all the players at this level need. It's got to be one hell of a service run for Padova to stay in this quarter final. And, well, if it's going to be someone who can serve aces, why not make it Linus Weber? Last time round, it was good. This time round, it's the error that hands this quarter-final match to Sukona's safety Perugia. We may see a check just because they've got one left, but all they'll be checking is how far was it out. A long, long way. And uh, 
Nick Gribich has got his jacket on already. He knows what the result's going to be. Hence the coach is shaking hands. And there we go. We end on a service error for Padova. We started on exactly the same and they never really found a way into this match.